Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. Stocks go up, stocks go down, then we see, then we see, then we see. Interesting, interesting day setting up. Interesting day, right? Very, very interesting. Uh, huge setup into tomorrow. Say tomorrow, because uh, tomorrow's the day. What are we going to do? Don't know. Don't know, don't know, don't know. Okay? Uh... Tesla getting back a little bit, needs to get over 203, then it becomes positive again. Uh, uh, what else? Deer earnings. Love deer for earnings. Didn't buy the, the 440s. I like them at two. They're probably going to be 250, 280. But here's the thing. If the CPI is bad, see, this is money management. This is why Sam is Sam, okay? So deer can really shoot up. It can go to 450, 460, 470. Wow, 470, Sam. Jesus, okay. But here's the thing. If the CPI is bad and the whole market goes down 100, 150 handles, the deer is going to go to 400, probably 395, right? And then it won't get to 440 or 450. So buying it before the CPI is tough. Now, I still may do it. Got to see how it acts this morning. But but the thing, you you have to wait on it, okay? You have to wait on it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did I do something wrong here? Hold on. Uh, give me a sec. Give me a sec, give me a sec. Uh, hold on. Okay, uh, sorry about that. So, uh, so, so, do you want to buy it before the number, right? Now, if if the CPI is good, then it's going to take off anyway, and then you have your two shots of of greatness on it. So that we'll see. But we may buy some and then add some. Okay. So, so dear last earnings told you they were sold out, hundred percent sold out. Then they said something else that I think the market forgot. They told you they are having no semiconductor shortages. So if you're completely sold out and you have no shortages, that means you can probably possibly make more than before. Right? Interesting. So that's, that's where we are in deals. Okay? Now the tax. To the semis, they had this huge run and this huge pullback. How about this NVIDIA? We nailed it again. Now, NVIDIA has an article in, uh, in Barron's. If somebody has it or can summarize it, uh, please let me know. Type it in the room or type it on Twitter. Uh, and just, uh, just a quick summary, okay? So here's the thing. So let's discuss NVIDIA. This is very, very, very important and it's worth discussing, okay? If chat GPT comes out, now, for, for well, before you do do it in NVIDIA, you got to discuss Microsoft, okay? Now, there, there's some people that just don't understand the basics of life and the basics of trading. Sending me messages says Apple would never change from uh, Google search to someone else. Sure they would. Sure they would. If Microsoft offers them $35 billion a year and they're currently getting $25 billion, why would, for $10 billion, you're not going to change search? Providers? Really? Interesting. So it's interesting. So if you're doing something, I mean, these people, people start change stuff so they, they go from one internet company to another to change five bucks. <laughs> okay. Uh, going up the deep end there. Anyway. So, but here's the thing. Microsoft, so this chat GPT uses one to three, now some people are saying five times the compute power, the compute resources, let's say resources, of regular search. Now Microsoft said every point of search that they take is gonna be $2 billion. Now I don't know if that's $2 billion profit or $2 billion for every point of search they take from Google, okay? If it's profit, that means they're spending 
another, what, three times the amount of costs that they typically spend on search and making $2 billion. That's pretty good. So why, if they're going to make $2 billion more, so let's they, say they, they go to Apple and they pay them $10 billion more. So they got to make 5% more on search. If they make 5% more on search, they can pay Apple $10 billion more. Apple changes search. Google goes to shit. Okay, that's one thing. So now you go back and say, okay, let's say vested interest and Microsoft gets five extra percent. Maybe they can do even better than that, et cetera, et cetera. So then they make money too. So Apple makes more money. They make more money. Google gets screwed. Now, compute power. That means Microsoft has their own sort of Azure. So they're going to use their cloud service. They're not going to give no money to Google, Google Cloud or Apple, Amazon Cloud. Interesting. But maybe that cloud and I, Apple, Apple probably has their own. Maybe that, that search, chat GPT search, would have to go through some type of Apple cloud, maybe. So maybe Apple spends one. I don't know the architecture. Okay, so I can't tell you. Okay, interesting. So now everybody says NVIDIA chips are going to run this. So does this start immediately? Has it already started? If it started, NVIDIA probably deserves to be 240, 250, and they're going to take it way up. They're going to rip it higher. Our thesis last week, buying the puts, is it had gone from 155 to 225, and if it went down at all, if the market went down at all, it was going to collapse. And it did. 33 cents went to $7. Grand slam. So the same thesis exists. Did it already start? If it started, NVIDIA deserves to be 230, 240, 250. If it didn't start, and the demand isn't there yet, but it's going to be there maybe in a quarter, maybe in two quarters, maybe in three quarters. I don't know. Then those orders come in, and so NVIDIA would have to miss, and, and they would most likely miss, and they would guide down because they would say, oh, our orders aren't coming for two quarters or three quarters. So then it's 170. NVIDIA is 170. Okay? If it's not, then it goes way up. So NVIDIA is a great, great hedge because if the whole market goes to shit, they're going to sell NVIDIA because it was 155. A great attribute. The logic was stunning. Every logic here is just flat, perfect right now. Okay? Because the market's working with it. Okay? So that's what we know on NVIDIA. Now, NVIDIA got, uh, and uh, Shavir is posting something in the room. I don't have time to, to read that, says, ignore Fed's rea reality earnings. U.S. stocks are ripe for sell off after prematurely. Okay, thank you. Uh, so here's the thing. Where does it go? What if we go down today and we close at 1050 or we close at 4,000 or we go to 4030? Then you get a good CPI that's just average. So it's not bad. Do we rip to 4,200? I would think any CPI, which is 5.7 or lower, we're at 4,200, 4,300. Now, there's a new method of calculating it. That method, in theory, should help it. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, two other ones to look at today. If all this chat GPT thing is real, and I believe it is more real than not, it's like the UFOs, are they real? More real than not? I don't know. Okay. But uh, Microsoft, 167, 171 can fly, can absolutely fly. Okay. Then we see, then we see, then we see. Okay? Uh, interesting, interesting, right? Day setting up. So I don't know. Uh, Meta is way up, but it's come from 197. Why did it get come way down? Should have never come down that far. And Snow's moving up. So now back to this uh, chat GPT and NVIDIA. So NVIDIA usage is huge. That means the repositories, the data repositories, should be massive. So who's the data repositories? 
Well, snow is one of them, let you manipulate data. Okay? There's another one, a couple. MDB is a database. Oracle is a database. So all chat DPT does is it, go, it goes through the entire database, the monster database. Look, every website really exists, but it just exists as data. It's just data, and that data has to reside in databases. If that's true, MDB is back to 300 if chat GPT is going to be like that. Wow. Now, I believe this chat GPT AI stuff is real. But I don't know if the demand is off the chart this quarter, the quarter that you're going to get numbers for. Next quarter, two quarters down. I don't know. Okay? That's what we know. That's what we know. That's what we know. But we know tomorrow is CPI. Uh, we believe retail sales is Wednesday. And you got like Roku and TTD earnings, and those weren't so great for APPS, et cetera. Uh, and then we see, and then we see, then we see, then we see. That's what we know. Okay. Uh, if you have comments, questions, go ahead and type them in. Nothing. <clears throat> okay. Let's get started. One, one question here regarding your levels. Do we track from the opening price or from high level to low level? So I don't understand the question. The levels are levels. If I give you Tesla 203, you look into Tesla 203. If it gets near 2 or 250 and you have calls, you'll probably sell some because 203 is going to be hard. If you if you have two tens, you say, okay, this is good. I want to hold those, or maybe you sell the two things by the two tens. Maybe it fails and you break even. Don't know. Okay. Downside if the numbers break, so it goes low. Very straightforward. Okay, SPX. SPX up what? Yeah, let's say ten to fifteen. So ten. You're right at forty one hundred. You're forty one thirty two. Uh, forty one oh nine. Forty one thirty two. Forty one fifty two. Forty one ninety one. Big 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 number. Okay. Downside. 40, 51 downside, 4,000 down, okay? Avago, 601, 609, 591 down. Uh, NVIDIA, one, uh, 227, two, uh, 217, then 227. Underneath, 208, 207. Land research. This thing was at 540. It's down 40. If the chips are good and the market is good tomorrow, probably rips 20. Okay, 522, 539, underneath 491. Uh, CrowdStrike had a commercial. Uh, eh, it's just average and bad. Well, 113, 119, Goldman Sachs, 372. Pan W earnings next week, I believe. Keep an eye on it. 172, 179. These will, the numbers are going to be good. Doesn't mean they go up. The net numbers were that good. But think about it. They said they're going to make 15 cents next year. If they make another 50% off or 100%, they make 30. That's 2024. 2025, let's say they make 200%. They make 90 cents. 90 cents on 30 PE, it's a dollar. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's $30. So your stock would be $30 a net in two years. That's if they grow at 100% or 200%. Just got to watch, wait, watch, wait. Meta, uh, 183 accelerator. If it gets to 183, this thing will fly. Snowman, 162, 169. Deer, 241, 246. Netflix, 372. Wait, don't buy Netflix till it's right near there. Okay, then we see, then we see, then we see. MDB, 226. NOW, looks like this. 472 is hard and 477 accelerator. Okay? Baidu, happened again. They're going to announce this chat GPT thing within 30 days, they said. So when that comes, probably going to go back to 160. Wait, 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 wait. Then we see, then we see. Every pop is sold. It goes up, then it goes down. Microsoft, 172.60, big, big number. A line into the gap lower, but if it gets to two three thirty one, voids the gap, probably goes to three sixty two. Google, Google's in a world of hurt. People don't understand the basics. Okay, they don't. They don't care about spend. It 
doesn't matter if your cloud costs go up 300% if you make $2 billion. If the net after it is $2 billion, they don't care if they spent $1.1 billion to do that. Guys, wake up. Tesla is now negative. It was positive. 191, 182, 203 up. ENPH, 226. Don't sniff it till 226. If and when it breaks 200, it's going to 182. That's what we know. That's what we know. Okay? Everybody have a great trade day. See you, Jess.